Yeah, welcome to Study Guide Forum. Today we'll be looking at some, and uh, we're looking at um, the chemistry practical exam volumetric analysis that is uh, for WAEC, for NECO, sorry, not WAEC, this time it's NECO, NECO 2024. So this is the uh, analysis, this, uh, this is the question we're using to, you know, look at, to try our hands on this. So I'm not saying that this is the actual question they are giving you, but then it's just a kind of past question that I'm using to, you know, help us to really go through this. And from the question I have here, it says that A is a solution containing a solution, it's a solution of the trust of a CSRC containing 6.85 grams grams of, uh, the, uh, of the acid, the DM cube. B is a solution of sodium triazocarbonate 4. Now, the other thing I omitted there has to do with the instruction on how to carry out the practical, the analysis. Then it said, the next question there, he said that from your, from your results and information given, calculate the concentration of A in more per dm cube, the concentration of B in more per dm cube, the volume of um, carbon 4 oils are liberated at STP. Every other thing remains constant, which is their relative atomic masses and molar volume which is 22 point, uh, point, point 0.4 dm cube so um, in this case now we're going to be starting up with the first question that they say we should solve here in this first question it said that calculate the concentration of a in more per dm cube and we know that concentration is always um, um, amount of our volume and the amount to get the amount is uh, what um, amount is um, amount or more is what mass over what molar mass molar mass will give us the amount this is also equal to amount so this amount divided by 1 dm cube will give us the concentration in mole per dm cube because we are talking about concentration in mole per dm cube. So what we're going to do here, since we know that amount is this, then we only have to, we only have to, okay, let's continue at this space. So we have the mass, the mass here, the mass we have is what? Mass given to us is equal to 6.85 grams. And the molar mass of the A of the A molar mass mm of A is 98, which we uh, uh, we got from where what we have. This is hydro all hydrogen is two, sulfur is 32, and oxygen is 16. That means 16 times 4 will give us um 64, when you add it up, we have 90, 98. That's in case if you don't know how we got, uh, we arrive at this very answer. So that is how we got it. So what next? So what we do here to get this one, to get this one or the amount, we have to, um, the what? Molar mass. So what we divide through, we divide 8, 6 point, Eight five divided by nine eight. We have what we have here is equal to zero point zero six nine nine approximately more. That's the amount that we have. So now to get it into concentration per dm cube, what we have here concentration will then be which is the C will give us amount over what. 1 dm cube that will give us 0 0.0699 mole per dm cube. So that is what we have as our concentration of A in mole per dm cube. So the next one we said we should calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm cube. So to do this now, I think we can um, try to use another. Space. I have some going to erase here and then I'll keep our concentration. I think we might need this thing in the future. Let me just keep it around. Okay.
So, to do this now, to actually do get this one, we are going to use our normal um, our normal value. But then there's something I did not put down here. That is the balance chemical equation, which will be the balance chemical equation is. Give us sodium surfaces, water, and then carbon. Aqueous, aqueous, aqueous. So now we have the balanced chemical equation there with us. So from here now, this is where we start using our table. Now I'm looking at the table, the values that we have here. Um, notice that we have 20 here, we have 19. Actually, we don't normally use rock in our calculations in most cases. Now, um, 20.20, 20.10, 20 20.20. So, we can quickly move down with this to make do with this, with this, even though the other one is not very far from me. But we can let's just do good and uh, make do with that too, that is very, very uniform. So the average, we calculate the average of A use is a 20 points plus 20.20 all over 2. So what do we have here? What we're going to get there will be So we add it up, we have 40 point, is it 40.4 divided by 2, that will give us 20.2, 20 20.20 cm cube. That is what we have. Now we can now use that our normal um, formula. A over B. So in this now, from our chem balanced chemical equation, we know that the ratio is one is to one. So what we have here will be one is to one. Now, concentration of concentration of the A, which is this, the more per GM cube is the volume is what twenty point two all over. All over we have a uh, the other one is concentration of this we don't know b times 25 which is the normal um um pipette volume that is very common but if you have 20 you can also use if it's 20 that you use in your own lab so we have the ratio of one is to one so when we cross multiply if you cross multiply this now what we have will be C B will be equal to 0 0.0699 times 20.20 uh, 20.02 all over 25. So what next? What next now we divide through? If we divide it, I'm dividing it. Let's see what we get. Multiply by 20.0. 20.20 divide by so what we have here is equal to 0 0.0565 mole per dm cube that is the concentration of B in mole per dm cube that we are asked to calculate we are asked to calculate in this so the next one we are going to do here is to calculate the what the volume of carbon four liberated. Now, if you look at this, if you look at this uh, balanced chemical equation, you find out that in the stoichiometric relationship, one mole of this will be liberated by one mole of um, triazocarbon four sodium triazocarbon four. So in that case, what it simply means here. Applying the the relationship, the stoichiometric relationship we have there, it means that um, 
one mole of sodium thiazide carbonate four will be equivalent to what twenty two point four gm cube of what carbon four. That is what is going to liberate. Now, why are we using 22.4 gm cube D? Because it's a molar volume and we are dealing with volume. And now what we are doing here is a, uh, the stoichiometric ratio that has to do with mole to what? Volume. We are working on mole to volume here now. We're coming from mole to volume. Now, we have, this is what is given to us. But from the stoichiometric ratio, this is what we have. Well, based on what, we get, what is given to us, then it means that 0 0.0. 565 will be equal to will be equal to 22.4 multiply by that will give us excuse me let me see what I can do now okay I'm back so let's continue um so here, yeah, when it multiplies, 22.4 multiply what we have, 22.4 multiply in. So what is giving us is 1.2651 gm cube approximately. So if we are to convert it to if you are converting to cm cube now that means you multiply by 1000 when you multiply by 1000 you will have it will give us um one two six five one cm cube that is what we have so the um the volume of the volume of carbon four liberated is what we have here thank you so much for coming this far and if you have not subscribed, if you are joining us for the first time and you have not subscribed, we encourage you to do that. If you have any question, we encourage you also to leave it in the comment section and then um, share and like our, our video. And again, if you really want to speak with us, you can visit the description of this channel. You will see our Facebook page there. Then we can chat. Thank you so much.